Welcome back to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Ogre Kingdom's Stonehorn. Uh, this is a big monster that just came out with a new uh, Ogre Kingdom's book, and here's what it looks like when I painted it up. So, um, for the paint scheme, I used almost exactly the same set of paints I used for my uh, iron guts that I've done already, and so I wanted to keep a very similar palette. Uh, and then how I did that um, was some of the stuff on the iron guts were this, and this is the exact same color I used for the fur on the uh, on the big beast, and as well I used um, a similar blue. As well, I used a similar blue um, to this for the uh, for the tusks. I actually used a slightly different one, but very close to that. So I started out by dry brushing, or not dry brushing, airbrushing it. Um, turned out that I ended up getting a different color, so I went back and I repainted a lot of stuff um, by hand. And so here I am putting on the layers of uh, of that uh, that brown. So it's kind of a reddish brown, and um, now I'm painting in this uh, this dark blue. That's like the Ritalik blue triad from Reaper. So painting that in all the areas there, and it's going to be on all the um, the nails and horns and all that. And I'm going to give that a bad ab black wash. Uh, Talaran flesh here for foundation on all the skin, and the Calvin brown base coat on here. Um, and uh, using a, the, a leather color there on all those uh, straps and using the same colors on this guy as well. Okay, so there's it uh, kind of going together. You can see all the base coats are done on here. That's going to get about a black wash. I magnetized this arm here so I could use either the uh, that condor or hawk or whatever it is. It looks more like a vulture. Um, I also did this uh, tied up empire guy. I thought he was really cool looking. And uh, other than that, stock kit, I'm not magnetizing the rider and anything like that. But I obviously left some things unattached until I finished painting. So that's just some uh, bolt gun metal there. And uh, you can see I'm kind of working my way up the layers on all the, uh, on the stuff, on the fur on the, the stone horn. Um, coming up on some more colors here, so adding in... Uh, some colors here. So I'm using a rust, the rust brown triad for the fur on him, and I'm going to use the uh, carrot top um, triad there for the so get a reddish color on his uh, beard. And there you can see that's with the the badab black wash. And all I'm going to do is just get these edges with the uh, the lighter brown, uh, lighter blues from the uh, the reaper triad. And uh, yeah, you can see how using the reaper triads kind of for me, anyways, it speeds up the process because I don't have to think about which paints I'm going to use. I don't have to mix anything. Um, just goes right on. So this is a ogre and flesh wash on there now, and I've got a devil and mud wash on the brown bits that are going to be um, bone and some of the uh, all the leather bits there as well. Okay, you can see I'm I'm trying to use a slightly different brown here for these straps, um, using a bit more of a reddish brown for the leather. And then you can see this uh, these this fur here kind of coming together nicely. I wanted it to be a sort of a reddish fur. I've kind of got that uh, reddish brown look to this my army as well as some blues in there. So um, yeah, trying to keep that consistent across the army so it looks like a, a solid unit across the tabletop. Uh, working on the highlights on the pants, and you can see the edge highlights there. And uh, this is actually the same color as the all the tusks and horns on the big uh, beast, um, but it didn't have the bad ab black wash and was highlighted using sort of different layers. So the middle tone is covering almost everything, and then the highlights just the edges. On the uh, the tusks, they're just using the um, I'm only highlighting the edges even with the middle tone, just trying to do it a little bit wider. So you end up with a very different look, even though it's almost the same color. Uh, here we are working our way through, trying to highlight up this a bit, um, getting everything ready and doing all these. So I painted all those individually on there. I had originally given it an airbrush coat, I think I mentioned that, but uh, didn't wasn't happy with the, the way the tones came out, so I went over it all again. And uh, that was pretty time-consuming, as you can imagine. Um, 
but uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's a very, very nicely sculpted model, and uh, it pays off to do a nice job on the hair, I think. Uh, here I am layering up these. Uh, it turned out to be a little bit closer to the same color than I wanted, but uh, in the end, that's okay, using all those same leather colors. These are the uh, the rider's reins that he's carrying. Um, I was actually very impressed with how well it all went together and everything fits exactly and looks perfect. Um, the way it's molded, uh, when I glued it together after I was done painting it, there's little hooks here that those attach to um, and uh, it just all worked out perfect. So very happy with how the model went together. Um, lots of details on here. You notice there that little trap broke off. Um, I had to glue that on a couple times and uh, just working on these things here. So this is pretty flimsy, but I think once it's all together, it should be okay. Uh, working on some of the leather here. And uh, yeah, nice details on everything. So same leather using for his boots. And I think I toned this down a little bit with a bit of a wash later. And yeah, this is all the same leather. I didn't bother using any different colors for the rope. I figured that the, the texture would make it look different enough. And I think that that's the case, so. It's not really one of the focal points. Uh, now for the bone here, I did something a bit different. Um, I used the the Reaper bone triad for everything. Um, but then I thought, I'm going to go back and make these teeth look different, look like they have some enamel on them. So I actually went with bleached bone and highlighted this all with bleached bone. So it's a bit more of a warm color, um, more of a, a, a brighter, brighter uh, bone color. So I think in the end, it helps it look, uh, look a little bit different. Uh, working my way up through the highlights there on the flesh using the same rosy triad. Ironically, that's the same flesh I use for my Skaven. Um, and I think it works okay. So using a couple different colors in here, just grabbing kind of uh, different Reaper triads to get some uh, different uh, colors in. And not too worried about which ones they were there. I think this one here actually is the same as these down here. But because, again, different texture and a different style, you can't tell that. This one here, I used the gray triads and just gave it a bad eye black wash. This is a denim stone with a um, griffin sepia wash and then re-highlighted. Okay, so here's the edge highlighting I was talking about on all the sort of stone bits. So that's the same color as I used for the pants on the, uh, the Ogre Rider. Um, but I'm just doing edge highlights on there just to kind of bring out those, those bits. Oh, and I actually hadn't highlighted this before, so now that's happening. And there's that uh, re-highlighting after the wash. And that's that uh, the bleached bone color there that I was mentioning. So that's just about done. And uh, now I'm starting to glue it all together. Um, you can see this is glued together, and you'll see that again from different angles. But yeah, like I said, I was very impressed with how well that all fit together on the first go. Used some super glue, and uh, it was good to go. So getting close here. <coughs> Now uh, the base, this is just different slate pieces from the uh, GW basing kit. This piece of bone here with a little bit of ruins is part of the Stonehorn kit, and I thought might as well put that on there. Um, and just trying to figure out where I'm going to place this uh, before we go ahead. So I'm not positive if I glued this in place yet, but uh, adding all these tufts here, because that's this is the kind of look I'm going for with my ogres, just this plain... Uh, tundra sort of look with these, um, I think it's more of a desert look with all these tufts everywhere. And I did that with my my iron guts. And uh, now i got to work on this uh, vulture here. And there you can see these, these go in fit perfect. At least they did for me. Some of the details there on the face. So I'm doing this uh, this color here. And uh, that's sort of a rust color that's going to be the fur. And this is like a, a red, like a carrot top red is the triad from Reaper. And so adding some more highlights to the flesh there, I think. Okay, so now I'm doing this uh, vulture. So I'm using um, the Reaper Coldstone Gray Triad. And I'm going to give it a bad ab black wash when I'm done. Uh, this is a uh, shard and granite for the areas that are going to be sort of a light gray or white. 
and that's just scab red over there. And the same leather for all of these straps as the ogre itself. Uh, working up some of the highlights there. So I didn't actually use a lot of white on this. Just tried to get some of the impression of white. I figure there's not really real any real whites on this. After I'd done the base coats, I kind of realized that this puff collar or puffed arm is probably probably did the red and white backwards, but again, doesn't really matter. Okay, and so we're all done. I ended up doing these teeth a gray color. It's hard to tell that. I didn't paint the inside of his mouth anything special. I just kind of left it all that uh, the blue. Um, and then I added a bit more detail on the vulture. You'll see that as it go around. So yeah, very impressive model. Um, lots of little fiddly bits like this tail. You have to be very careful transporting it as well as the stuff on the, the, uh, the not throne, but the, uh, I guess the saddle decorative details. Um, this guy here probably would have hung better up there, but I, I wanted him to be nice and close to the model so he wasn't going to break off and transport. But uh, overall, quite uh, quite impressed with this model. Real pleasure to paint. Uh, even though it took a long time, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it on the tabletop as well. Also had a little uh, turkey, not turkey, chicken there. Chicken on a hook and some detail on the face. I didn't add really much here. It didn't really make sense exactly how all the skin and stuff was going to be so I just left it all the same colors. Didn't worry about that too much. And the rider there. So there's a bit of a gap. That's because that's magnetized and then I added some of these. Uh, I used the bright skin triad from Reaper for the, the flesh there and the beak is actually just um, sunburst yellow over top of black and I just kind of did it very very light layers kind of a glaze sort of thing working my way towards the top there's that guy it's not perfectly in focus but you get the idea and there's the uh, that turkey vulture or whatever it is on his arm and you notice that I don't do my ogres with um, the bloody fist uh, no real reason just to don't really understand why that's necessary but uh, so this is the other arm that Magnus ties on there and you can see it sort of from a reverse view um, I didn't take most of the pictures with it on just because I had to zoom out so far you won't really be able to see a lot of details and uh, that's a little bit washed out sorry sort of an overhead view there from the other side and of course the size comparison. So it's similar size to a giant but obviously the the base is much much larger. The giant's base is probably about half as long um, and of course the giant's a little closer than he is but very similar size in terms of height but overall mass this thing is much much larger. Anyways that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com and uh, leave a comment. I get back to those ones most frequently, but I try to check my YouTube ones and mini wargaming ones as well. See you next time.